All right, today we're gonna make some apple crisp. First, I'm going to melt my butter. Then I'm gonna mix together my dry ingredients. I have oats, flour, add in a pinch of salt. I actually like to add a little bit of extra salt into the streusel topping because I think that that salty flavor is so good in it. Some fresh ground cinnamon. We'll mix that together. And we're gonna add in some brown sugar. All right, so while our butter is melting, we're gonna get our filling ready as well. Got some sugar, cinnamon, and then a little bit of flour as well. Our sliced apples will give off a lot of liquid, so you wanna have either flour or cornstarch in the mix, so then that way it can help to saturate some of that liquid so that you're not having a soupy apple crisp. Got all my sliced honey crisp apples. They're nice because they're a sweet tart apple. And then one of my little secrets to apple crisp is I actually add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. It can tend to get a little bit too sweet, especially depending on the apples. And so adding a little bit of that helps to kind of just brighten it up a little. You wanna make sure everything is completely coated. So I just get in there with my hands and bring all of those sugar and flour ingredients up to the top just to kind of coat our apples. that all incorporated, I'm just gonna sprinkle in my apple cider vinegar and a little bit of vanilla extract. Our butter is melted, so we're gonna go ahead and pour that right into our dry ingredients for the streusel. And I'll kind of get it started with my spatula and probably end up using my fingertips to kind of bring it all together. Actually, that's perfect. So now I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it over the top. Now it's ready for the oven. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 minutes and I've got the oven at 350. We've got it on convection, so it says 325. Mine is a big batch, so it's going a little bit longer. We'll check on it then and see how it's doing. All right, it's been 45 minutes, but this big batch of apple crisp looks like it could use another 15 or so. Oh yeah, that is perfect. 